Today's tip is just around spacing out a grid of frames. Um, so we've done this before with a frame tool in earlier tips, and you can space those out and create a grid effect, for example, in there. But one of the things we haven't really looked at is this spacing in between here and, and where that comes from and how you can change it. So the first question is, where does it come from? Well, it actually comes from a setting that you did when you created your document. And if you go into the layout menu under margins and columns, you can see there's a gutter setting in here, which is normally your gutter in between your columns. But it actually picks up that gutter setting and uses it for this process. So if, for example, I was to reduce that gutter setting down to a smaller size and then redo this process, you'll notice the space in between these frames is now much smaller. Um, and that's because it's pulling it from that setting there. So that's the first thing to be aware of. We'll just pop it back to something a little bit more um, normal. The second thing to be aware of is when I do that and I have that space in there, you can adjust that space on the fly by selecting everything. Click down there as though you're going to resize it. Now, when you resize it normally, the space resize is proportional to the size of the frames. But if I click down with the mouse ready to resize it, and then before I start moving, I hold the space bar down what you'll find is I can actually space these out closer or further apart. And then when I'm finished, just make sure to let go of the mouse before I let go of the space bar. And that allows you to kind of freehand space those out. So that can be quite a useful one just to be able to work with on the fly. 